Welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Now, time for us to tell you things then, where they trend for inside the news for Wibudu, Nigeria. I'm going to start with one of our major oil um, companies for inside Wibudu, Nigeria, where they call Chevron, Nigeria. Now, we don't yet say some of the trainees for inside Chevron, Nigeria Limited, don't actually enter street. They say they're not going to agree or they're not going to agree. Says Chevron, don't they enslave them for a very long time. Now, the men and women actually march on top of the Lekki Aja Expressway for inside Lagos State um, just recently. And they come outside, allege, she says Chevron Nigeria don't waste more than five years of their life and that they promise them job which they never even give them. Now, according by them, they allege, say, instead of Chevron Nigeria to employ them, they actually get training contract. They come at say this particular action, so we Chevron be, don't put on ground. Say this one now against the labor laws for inside we able to Nigeria. Now make we give you one of the um, gist where one of the protesters become a side talk. Now one of the protesters, whether they call Okunufa Mandi, he come a side talk say Chevron Nigeria be carry him inside their company for inside 2013. He say in 2013, they mobilized, we were mobilized to Chevron Nigeria Limited. We can't get offer through a recruiting agency. Initially, we be not know say na Chevron B, we they just only tell us say na oil and gas company and they need workers. Now upon the fact that I co attend the interview, now they can't realize say this one na Chevron Nigeria Limited or in B. And they can't tell them, say they mobilize them as operators and technician um, the, um, officers for inside the company. He said they inform them, say, four sets. They don't already mobilize about four sets before they be employed them. And that they under the vocal training program, whether they call VTP. He said they even go for training for inside Ogu State. And the company can tell them, say, they go hand um, them over to a training provider. where they go train them for two years, after which, after that two years, they go come employ them into Chevron Nigeria as major staff. He said this one so till 2018 now we in the talk since when they're carrying on for 2013. Tell them, tell them, say now they two years, now you go need to work before they employ them. Chef will never upgrade his own um, offer letter to staff. But still, they're still they on that training level. So now that they call on even the Nigerian Labour um, Congress, that they call on even the federal government to intervene. Say this one an enslavement for inside their own country, whereby a major oil company go carry them on the basis of trainee, and this training are just for two years, but they don't stay there for more than two years, still bearing that training title. A lot of them come outside give their own experience on why they think, say, Chevron Nigeria, they actually enslaved them. But right now, we never hear any information concerning um, Chevron yet, but we know say this is not matter where we need to actually address for inside Wibudu, Nigeria. Yes, um, knowing fully well, say this um, Chevron is not the only oil company. We know say they go through a lot now. Um, a few weeks ago, we know say one of the other oil companies be actually get for shuts down one of their branches for inside Lagos. They're very close to the office uh, because of waiting. The staff will come outside, they complain and they yarn about and security as it is, staff. And as it is now, it is still heavily guarded by security um, because they, they don't know just how unpredictable these people feel be at the end of sure. the day so now what, concerning this story we don't talk if you it can't be like say there's a miscommunication between the recruitment company mm -hmm. and this oil company because now if this if this um contract staff as people to put them if this contract staff decide to go to court now true the, the same recruitment, recruitment agency, agency mm -hmm. will bring and come. What will be the terms and condition where yeah. the recruit where the company tell this recruitment agency? Mm -hmm. Because it can't be like say a lot of times this recruitment agency they keep certain information away from the people where they employ where they try and employ. Very true. And when you keep this information away, the person where they, the company where they employ for assume say they don't tell the people, so they should know say, and so it's supposed to be. Now when they can't come inside, they can't say, what thing did they hear first? I know what thing did they see for inside. They can't be like, say, one person they do the mago mago. So the, all the stakeholders, they need to call them to the table. Make them sit down, talk her, as it be. Nobody say that they do chop, chop, chop for back. If they come outside and show the transparency, then, these people feel they're understanding enough to accommodate certain things and terms and conditions where they want to bring I totally board. agree with you. Now, within this sad about this particular one, we say some of the protesters, now they talk say about 30 of the people where they come outside protest, now actually first class, class. graduates. Nobody say they're not go school. These people go school, some of them get first class degree 
and they don't put them for inside training level for a very long time. Like you talk, Luchi, they need to go back to this recruitment agency, ask for the terms and conditions. Why be saying that they promised us two years until now? They never make us staff. We have our certificates. We are well trained yeah. in this particular field. Why don't they short change us? And we need NLC right now. Maybe you are there for the people, for the Nigeria uh, um, workers. We need them to actually act right. And these workers, they need to be employed as staff. They don't it, work there for how many years? It's not a condition where, where they tell the recruitment it's, agency. It's a condition. You cannot keep somebody on that training level for a very long time. At least two years is okay. Yes, two years. But what if they give them other terms and conditions? Say, if they if they don't meet certain criteria, we need mm. to let them go. Now, the thing we need to be sure but of... you never let them parties, go. They are still working there. We need to let, we need to be sure of what they happen. Mm. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.